As an aspiring flow grammar, you should have a solid understanding of objects and what they do. By now you're familiar with fields and how they contain a single property. Objects, on the other hand, contain a collection of properties. For example, we've already discussed date and time objects and how date and time functions, such as the now function, contain the current date and time in multiple formats. Each of these formats is a property represented by a key value pair. In this example, the format name is the key, and the value is the formatted date. Of course, objects can contain several different types of information. For example, if you created an object that represented all the contact information for an individual person, you'd have key value pairs for all the different types of information. One key might be called mobile phone and contain that person's mobile phone number. We've just discussed two common uses for objects, but what are some others? Objects are particularly useful when you need to map different data points to a customer. Fields in a row of a spreadsheet, the elements of a transaction or any other type of data that makes more sense when grouped together. While this data can exist separately, the structure of an object makes the data easier to traverse, locate, and retrieve. Now that you understand the value of objects, let's take a step back and learn how to build them. Within the context of a flow, objects are in the JSON format because it's a standard format that's used to describe objects. Many different apps and services already use this format. If you're unfamiliar with JSON, the format might seem a little intimidating at first, but it's not hard to grasp once you know what you're looking at. You already know how key value pairs work, so let's find them in this example object written in the JSON format. First, you'll notice that each object is encapsulated in curly braces and contains a series of key value pairs. Each key and value is separated by a colon with the key on the left side of the colon and its value of the right. Also, each pair is separated by a comma. In the event you only see a pair of curly braces and nothing else, this indicates that you have an empty object with no key value pairs inside of it. The Workflows console features a wide array of object functions, which provide you with tools to create and manipulate objects. While there are many functions, let's review those which are most commonly used. The Construct function allows you to create a new object from given inputs. For example, let's say you are processing input from a form and saving the result to a spreadsheet. With the construct function card, you can process this form input and dynamically create an object for use with other cards in your flow. Before moving on, let's take a brief moment to look at the simple way you can use the construct card to create a custom object. After creating it, you can add new variables to the object or list created by the construct card by dragging and dropping outputs onto the construct card. Just make sure all of the outputs you use come from cards to the left of the construct card. Cards to the right of the construct card will not have run yet and therefore will not contain any usable data in their outputs. The get function reads the value stored in an object at a given path. In other words, this card allows you to enter one of the keys in its given object and retrieve the associated value. For example, specifying a path of name for the sample object you see on your screen would provide the result of Lisa Balloon. The get multiple card is similar to the get card but instead provides you with the ability to pick several values all at once. To use it, you simply pass an object and define any number of keys whose values you want to retrieve as output. This output can be used in the cards that follow this one in your flow. The set card sets a key of an object to a specified value, creating a new key if it doesn't exist already. This function will let you create new values in an object or set the values of existing keys. For example, if you decided it was more convenient for everyone in your organization to have the same birthday, you could set the birthday key in each person's data object to the same date. This covers all the basic information you need to know about objects in the JSON format, but it's crucial that you have a firm understanding of these concepts because you'll use them often when creating your flows. Before moving on to more advanced topics, such as crafting child flows or lists, make sure you feel confident you understand how objects works and review the concepts in this lesson again as needed.